So I asked ChatGPT if they could help me develop a basic fifth grade math curriculum. Let's say that I needed to homeschool my kid, right? And I wanted to use AI to develop out what the curriculum would look like. And I don't know what I'm doing, right? This, this chat will tell you. So I said, hey, can you provide links to learning resources, uh, worksheets, planning, courses? Uh, I want the entire curriculum to be free. Please describe in detail how I would teach this curriculum every week how long I should spend on what content, and then describe exactly what lesson content I should be teaching every week. Give me a day-by-day -day breakdown of what lessons I should teach over the entire school year. Okay, cool, so it came through, it gave some uh, basic overview of like what fifth grade math consists of. Now, I don't know how deep it goes into some things like algebra and geometry, that seems a little bit deep, but we're you know brushing the surface, I think, at that level, and uh, you know, it's just some kind of healthy overviews. Then it gives you reference to three videos or three sites that have uh, free resources. So IXL Math Antics and Khan Academy. So based off of this, you should be able to go and find some free resources that you could just take your kid, give them that, and then from there, uh, follow this kind of broad schedule. So what I can do is I'm gonna ask it to actually expand on what it's given me now because we haven't gotten a day by day schedule so I could say hey can you plan two solid weeks of math lessons day by day so I'm asking it can you plan out the next two weeks of math lessons based on this fifth grade math curriculum so we're it's probably gonna assume I'm hoping that we're starting from zero and we're rolling through based off of just you know day one so from here, it says, hey, on Monday, let's start with decimals. On Tuesday, let's do decimals and fractions. Then on Wednesday, comparing and ordering decimals. Thursday, reviewing decimals. And you're pretty much just spending the whole week on that. Friday, you've got a quiz on decimals. So one thing that we can actually do is we can go in depth with this and we can say, hey, can you make me that quiz on decimals so that I have that content to give to my kid? I can like print it out and then give it to them because it just said, hey, do it, give me a quiz on decimals. And I'm gonna be like, well, can you make that for me? And it can, so this is really cool. We can actually develop the curriculum live um, as we're right here. Now I'm asking it explicitly for a 10 question fifth grade math level quiz on decimals, but I could have just said, hey, can you give me that Friday quiz? And it would know what you're asking for. So. Here we go, it's saying, yep, here's the, uh, the quiz, is multiple choice, and it's breaking it down. And what I'm gonna do is like, let's say that you're a parent and you just completely just blanked on everything that you learned in school, like a lot of people did, which is fun, right? You're not necessarily working out decimals every day, let's say, and you wanna know, okay, well just, can you just tell me what the answer key is for this quiz so that I can grade it appropriately? And we can ask it for that too. So it's spitting out, we're running through, it's got a bunch of uh, great questions here. We're gonna say, hey, can you give me an answer key for this? So I asked for the answer key and we'll see what it comes back. Um, now these are, you know, we could have just gone to Google and we could have looked this up, but we don't even need to with a very, very simple ask. It will give us the full answer key for the quiz. So we have no barriers now. We have a full breakdown lesson plan uh, access to free resources. We could have paid for some resources and then we could feed those resources in and ask for more refinement, but it generated a quiz for us. It generated an answer key. So we pretty much have everything that we need to go out and teach uh, fifth grade math. I'm also gonna ask it how much time per day should I spend on the lessons? And then I ask for any advice on how to effectively use that time. So it'll be interesting to see what this says and honestly, all of this information is coming from basically a gigantic copy of the internet pre-2021. So this is sort of condensing all of the homeschool um, advice on the internet pretty much based off of your ask, based off of what this thing wants to give you at the, the current time. So this is like the best version of a Google search you could ever hope to accomplish. So it's giving you a 45 minute guide. It says, let's do a warm up, introduce a new concept, and then have them do some independent practice and have a little bit of review. And then, you know, try to mix it up every day to keep it 
interesting. So overall, this is really cool. I think this is going to be a game changer for homeschoolers and homeschooling. I hope this is, a, is, is helpful to you. And uh, if it was, uh, please hit that like button and drop a comment about how this helped you. And thank you so much for watching and have a good one.